it's Robin with Birds Buys YouTube channel and today we're celebrating birthday today I'm participating in the save our earth collab hosted by the purple pixie and co-hosted by Indiani Jones I'll have both of their channel links in the description box as well as the playlist for the collab. Today, I'll be creating two crafts with trash. If you like videos on hauls, DIYs, and shopping, make sure to subscribe. And don't forget to hit that bell button so you're notified every time I upload. So without further ado, let's get started. I decided to use a Diet Coke bottle and also a cup from McDonald's. The first thing I do is I take the Diet Coke bottle and I take some rocks that I had on hand and I just fill up the bottom. Then I take one of these slippers and I just measure how far I can get the Diet Coke bottle in. Then I have some of these socks and I decide to color the white part a darker blue to go with this theme that I have in mind. I take this burlap ribbon and I glue it all around the sides of the bottle with hot glue. And I do that about halfway up the bottle. Next, I cut off the little bit hanging over and add some glue to glue that on. I've got some faux fur and my slipper, so I cut the slipper, just taking the bottom off, and I add some hot glue to close up the inside part. Then I put the slipper on the top of the bottle, pushing it down. I cut the faux fur because this one has like a border, so I do cut the border off on both sides. Then I place it on, but first I have to put a nose on. Can you guess what I'm making? It's a gnome. So I'm just sticking the sides of the beard on right now. And then I decide to cut the beard a bit shorter. Just giving him a little trim. And now I'm going to put the sock on. I've got this cloth and I'm going to be cutting out one of the little lemon patterns. So I just give it a quick cut here, but then after I go ahead and I cut it more into detail and that's how I want the look to be. Like that. So I just take my hot glue and I put it all over the back of the lemon print. And then I stick it on top of the hat where I want it. He's so cute. So I had some more pom-poms and I decided that I would glue one to the end of the hat. And so that's what I did. And now I'm going to make some arms. 
So I took a piece of the other sock, cut it, put some glue, and then I'm going to just roll it up. I'm just uh, turning it so that the glue gets all the spot. And then I give it a cut where I want. And these are going to be the little arms. I do have some more pom-poms and I made sure to choose the same color as I was going to be using for the nose. And I glued one on one side and then I glued the other to the little body. And I just held on to it until it dried. And then I did the same thing on the other side. And it makes them more realistic looking when they have little arms. And here's my first trash to treasure creation. Little lemon gnome. Isn't he cute? So the next trash to treasure creation, I had planned on making this nautical light. So first I painted the McDonald's cup and I let it dry. And then I had this old filter in the basement and it has some wire mesh on it. So I thought, I'm gonna take that off. So I did use my wire cutters and I took off a piece of it. And then once I took it off, I wrapped it around the McDonald's cup. You have to be very careful because it is very pokey. And I just tried to twist the pieces together at the bottom so they weren't like flying all over the place. And also so I could put the lid back on because with the pieces sticking out, the lid wasn't going. So here I am, I'm putting a light inside just to see how it looks. And I didn't really like it because you couldn't really see the light. So I decided to make some scratch marks in the painted part so you could see the light. So that's what I'm doing right here. Just making a few holes in random spots. But then I decided I was going to try these bigger light set. So I put those inside. I just wrapped them around my hand a few times. And then I put them in and I turned it on because I wanted to see how it looked. And then I put the lid on. I turned off the light, but I didn't really like it because you could see how badly it was painted. I mean, it makes a nice light, but I just didn't like the paint all around it. So then I thought, how can I improve on this? So I had this mask that I didn't really like to wear, but it had this mermaid sequin 
pattern on it. So I decided to cut it out and put it on. And I mean, it's not the best, but it's a lot better than it was. And I could see myself actually using this light. And so here are my two trash to treasures. My little lemon gnome and my nautical fishnet light. Well, that's it for my video. I hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to give me a big thumbs up if you liked it. And if you're like me, you don't throw out anything. Happy Earth Day. Make sure to reuse, recycle, and take care of our Earth. It's the only one we've got. Bye for now. Check my channel very soon for Hall's DIYs try-ons in my room.